what's up so I have with me today the blue vivo air I got this phone on December 20 no December 18th 2015 so I'm making a small little review as to what it's been like for me so far I haven't used it for like a month yet but just wanted to sort of make a short review about it because I really like the phone so this is the case it came in um, with came in for my daddy thanks dad um and this is from blue it's called vivo air and this is their tagline slash slogan bold like us i like it so let's open up uh, there you go okay so this is the phone it looks fantastic um i'd like to remind you i've used it already so it has the screen protector on it already as you can see okay the screen protector is already there but I love the thinness of the phone how small it is so comfortable in my hand as I hold on to it it's really nice and the silkiness of it just the, the texture the look of it is just amazing I really like it a lot it, it, it just fits well with my type of personality and whom I am so, in the box, there is, let's open up, so you have the USB cable, once again, I've already opened this, so I just had to put it back in for the sake of the video, uh, the USB cable, which is pretty nice, it works well, um, and this is the tip of it, and then you have the earphones, the earphones are pretty cool, they came along with it too, um, they work well, they have a right and a left, and they look like you know, authentic to the phone too. It's really kind of cool to have earphones that are authentic to the particular phone. They're blue earphones as well. And then you have this thing here. I'm not sure yet quite what this is about. I actually asked a few other people and we still couldn't figure out. But I'll put down a link below so you can learn more about the phone yourself. And you just might figure out really what this is about. At some point I will. And... I'll use it and I'll probably be like, wow, amazing. <laughs> Thank God. So, the next one is the charger, of course. Pretty cool. And the charging on here is really fast. I love it. About maybe like an hour and 30 minutes and I'm full ready to use the phone for at least like a good two days. But if you use it a lot, like let's say you do a lot of YouTubing or you do a lot of music playing, it might go for maybe a day and 30 minutes. And if you go just like really crazy doing lots of games and everything, it might go for about a day. But usually it's about two days two good days that I have a um, good battery and even when the battery is red literally it's <laughs> I can still use it watch these like three or four more videos and then they have the manual here in Spanish and English as well so it's very a lot of good information that I read here before using the phone and then they have the screen protector which I already put on the phone also, very important, one of the most important things on here, I mean, you can forget everything else but have this one. So, this is your key to open the card, the um, SIM card slot, okay, which is on the right side on, of the phone, right here. So, where there's that little hole there, this is where this tiny thing is going to go into there to find your SIM card. So, my SIM card is already in there. And it just helps to know that. So I do like these little commands like when you put a C, um, it brings you straight to the camera, which is pretty cool. Uh, whenever you do a inverted C, it brings you to messages. Whenever you do like a upside down U, wait, is upside down U messages? See, I'm still learning this thing. This way is something different. Okay, it's not working out. But if you do a U, it brings you to your music. I believe the other one should bring me to my contacts, but I'm not sure. There you go. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, in terms of the camera itself, the camera 
one thing that I love about the camera is the fast um the fast shutter um it takes the picture really quickly as you click it but sometimes whenever i take the picture and i remove the phone or i just take it away because i'm done with the picture um it looks fuzzy um, i'm not really sure exactly maybe it's me removing the phone too quickly i'm not technically sure about that i couldn't tell you um exactly but this is where the sound comes out in terms of music um let's try to play something Let's see here. Let's play this one. I was just listening to this song. This is just the sound. Okay. So that's at that is at the top volume. Okay, the top is the volume. Um, if we go, let's say to YouTube. Okay. I do like the video quality to show what kind of video it is um, and also whenever you do take the videos as well it's pretty nice I'll show you some of that this is the volume it's up to the top too I was just listening to this one as well Okay, so you heard a little bit of that, and it's pretty cool. But those are just some of the little things um, that I really, really like about the phone. And it also came with a case. Okay, I really like this case. It's just that after a little while, a little usage, it became a little less. Um, it's getting a different color slightly but the case is very nice it protects the phone well I'm not really a person who drops my phone usually so I'm not too I wasn't too scared about the case I do like a per, you know a protective part even like those transparent cases but uh, transparent touchscreen cases but I like this one as well it covers the phone well I believe um, and the part for the, sh the shutter and the flash is fine. And I do like especially the fact that here it covers up where you put your earphones and the USB. Those are the things that I always look for in different cases. So definitely the fact that they gave me that case and it clips on and you can clip it out to put the thing in. That's really cool. It's just that the one thing that I hate about them having the earphones and the USB down here is if you're using your phone upward you kind of feel like you're bending the different strings so that's kind of a downer I know some my other phone had it at the top here the earphone at least was at the top so it was a lot easier I didn't feel like I was bending or ruining my my strings but overall this is the Vivo Air. I really like it. It's very nice, very silk, small, as I told you, which is my favorite part. And it feels very comfortable in the arm. So I hope you like it. I hope this helped you out to maybe figure out if you're trying to find a new phone because this is at a good price. You can even get this plus the screen protector for even less than $200 um, or slightly above. But... I'll put down a link also on Amazon so you can maybe look that up as well if you you want something. It's just that it only has 16 gigabytes so you can't add more memory to it. So you'll just have to be really careful as to how much space you use and how many things you insert in there. How many pictures maybe you take. But overall the phone is pretty cool. Um, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. There is also the home button here. Just so if um, you are on a, an application, for example, you click on it and it brings you to the home button. And there's also this button here that shows you all the things that are open. So you can just slide them off um, to also spare your battery as well. So it's pretty cool stuff happening here and there's the back button as well there there is the shut off button um you can press and hold it'll show you the reboot or power off or airplane or you can also 
have the volume button as well. But overall, this is the Blue Vivo Air phone. I really like it. I hope you like it too. Let's box it back in. And if you like it, make sure you give me a like. If you know anything else about the phone, please make sure you share it underneath for many other people who could also need help to know more information. Or if you would like to know even more things from myself, my own experience, please let me know also in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer as much as possible. But thanks for watching.